Welcome to The Joy of Music. Featuring as hostess, Diane Bish, the first lady of the organ. Praise ye the Lord. Praise him in his sanctuary. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Diane Bish. Welcome to the Joy of Music. What a fantastic program we're going to have for you today. My special guest is Jerome Hines, the great bass of the Metropolitan Opera and one of the greatest singers of all time. He's a wonderful man, a wonderful musician, and a person that's really committed to Jesus Christ. And I know you're going to want to hear what he has to say and hear him sing. You know, it's so important for all of us who are Christians to live close to God. And I want to begin the program today by playing a hymn that talks about being near to God, nearer my God to thee. One of the purposes of the joy of music is to bring to you people who are outstanding in music and who are glorifying God with their talents. 
We have one of the world's great singers with us today, Mr. Jerome Hines, and he's one of the great stars of the Metropolitan Opera, but he also sings sacred music and great hymns. I'd like to join my guest, Mr. Hines, now as he sings one of our favorite hymns, How Great Thou Art. My special guest today on The Joy of Music is Mr. Jerome Hines, great bass of the Metropolitan Opera and one of the greatest opera singers of all time. He has been at the Metropolitan for 37 consecutive seasons, more than any. He is a writer of um, operas and books and a man who is committed to Jesus Christ. Welcome, Jerry, to The Joy of Music. Thank you, Diane. Nice to be with you. It's really fantastic what you have done with your life. Tell me and tell our viewers how you came to know Christ. Well, now that is a long story. You'd have to I'm read a sure book to it do is. it. I mean, it takes about two hours. It wasn't this the typical story of me going to an evangelistic meeting, hearing the gospel preached, and uh, going forward, and my world was changed. Uh, in fact, uh, I knew two Christians at the time, when I was in my teens, particularly in early 20s, 
and they weren't talking. And uh, I was drawn to what their life showed, but there was no way that they were going to tell me how it could be mine. Oh. They took me to church once or twice, but nobody told me what to do to become a Christian. But you knew they were Christians by their lives. Yes. I knew there was something about their lives that I liked and that I wished I had too. And so um, it was quite a few years later that uh, I was writing this opera in the life of Christ. And uh, in so doing, I had to read the Bible intensively to write the libretto, particularly the Gospel of John. And the Holy Spirit began to work in my life through the scriptures. And finally, uh, I had a, just a series of experiences that turned my life upside down and showed me that God was real, that he existed, that I could know God. Well, Jerry, you've been witnessing ever since in all of your work and in, in your opera work, and I know many people that have become Christians because of your testimony, and that's a wonderful thing. Well, I don't like Christians who just sit around and keep their mouth closed. Well, I think should. all of us have the duty to be available to tell people where our hope is and why that's and right. how it is achieved. And so I shouldn't use the word achieve because it's not something we do achieve. It's something that God does for us. We are saved by Him. That's right. Yeah. Well, now you have the, the wonderful honor of being the person to have sung the longest at the Metropolitan 37 consecutive years. Isn't that right? That's right. That is really something. What yes. do you attribute your longevity to or your success well, in the Well, now, Met? I'm not just saying this because it's my sponsorship is Christian. This is the, the truth. The truth is that, oh, 10, 11, 12 years ago, I was ready to quit. And I sounded you like were. I was ready to quit at the time. All my famous competitors were falling out of the picture, too. Mm -hmm. We had come to uh, past our, you know, our past our heyday. And uh, it was getting hard to sing. It was getting very stressful and very painful. And finally, I just uh, one day said to the Lord, look, I've had it. I know. I see the handwriting on the wall. I know that I'm finished. I know that in a year or two I'm going to be teaching. I accept it. And... Uh, I didn't welcome it because I love singing, but I knew that I was at the end of the rope. And the Lord just simply said to me in my heart, I'm sorry, I won't let you quit. I demand that you sing. That's and wonderful. that demand has been going on ever since. And I keep saying, look, it's tough. All right, so it's tough. Right. I didn't promise it would be easy. Jerry, you've written a book about your life story. This is my story, this is my song is the name of That's it. That's right. That's the book that tells us the detailed story of how I became a Christian. Uh -huh. It's a long, torturous story. It's a pleasant one, really. And to me, it was a very thrilling one. And uh, then it goes on the rest of the book to tell what happened after I became a Christian up to 1963 uh -huh. through the uh, Cuban Missile Crisis when I was in Moscow at the time of the crisis and Khrushchev came and made my wife and me unofficial ambassadors to go back to the States and say he wasn't going to fight World War III over Cuba. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the book has really a grand climax to it and uh, a rather startling story. And uh, but I wrote the book just because you should take, tell, take me about two hours to tell people how I became a Christian. I got That's tired right. of talking so much. Well, I would certainly recommend that book to anyone. I have read it and it's a very powerful story of how a person can be successful and have everything in life and yet still have the need of Christ and find him and uh, their lives are changed. And Just, life is complete then. That's right. And that's then right. life is complete. Right. And this is my story. This is my song comes from a wonderful hymn that you sing. And I'd love for you to sing it for us now. But of course. Blessed assurance. All right. Good. All right. story, this is my song, raise 
praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior. been listening to Jerome Hines, one of the great singers and musicians of our day, a man who has taken his God-given talent and refined it to the glory of God and to the witness of Jesus Christ. J.S. Bach did the same thing in his day. He was a great musician. He took his musical talent and he perfected it. And I would like to play a number by J.S. Bach now. It is a number that was taken from a chorale of Bach's day. And it talks about the Christian following God. If thou but suffer God to guide thee.
My special guest today on The Joy of Music is Mr. Jerome Hines, great bass of the Metropolitan Opera and one of the greatest opera singers of all time. You've had success and you've had money and fame and there are many people in the world that have that. Why do people need Christ? Why did you need Christ? You had everything. I need Christ for the same reason that everybody in the world needs him. All I knew was in my early days I was constantly seeking something I couldn't find. Maybe that's why I did so many things, why I got into so many fields. And uh, every time I would do something successfully, I'd say, is this it? And I'd say, no, this is not what I'm looking for. And it wasn't until I was past 30 years of age, and I was writing an opera on the life of Christ, I Am the Way, mm -hmm. that I finally had my first close encounter with Jesus Christ and discovered that this is what I was looking for, or who I was looking for the entire time. And all of a sudden, my life became complete with this whole picture. Not only do you sing opera and uh, write books and everything, but you also work in the missions, don't you, in New York? And yes, I know most of the skid rows in this country. And uh, it all came about also through I Am The Way, this opera on Life of Christ. Uh, the Lord just simply instructed me at one time, said, now I'm gonna send you to the places where I would be. Is that as right? an apprenticeship for singing the part of Jesus Christ. And he started me and going off the And that's the reason. Yeah. That's, that's wonderful. And uh, I learned all my early practical experience on Skid Rose, and uh, it taught me how to deal with the down and outer and the up and outer. <clears throat> and to me, it was something to find out that the man sitting on top of the world is just as seriously in need as the fellow sitting down in the dung heap. And um, I've, I learned to sing, like the Lord was just saying, I want you to learn to sing with a message. And uh, I found myself having, uh, being pushed around by ministers saying, now come on, you can't sing that, you've got to sing this. And they put things in my hands, like, for example, I'd rather have Jesus by Bev Shea, which is mm -hmm. one of my favorite hymns, and uh, maybe I can sing that for you now. I'd love for you to sing it. Domain, 
can be held in sin's dread sway. I'd rather have Jesus than anything this world affords. Oh, My special guest today has been Jerome Hines, and what a wonderful joy it has been to have you here, Jerry Hines. Thank you, Diane. You're a wonderful performer and a really a real influence on so many people's lives as a Christian and as a musician. And the Lord has blessed you greatly. We have time for you to sing another number, and one of the ones that I like the most is Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing. And we have a special blessing as Christians, and God has really blessed your life, and I want to thank you so much for being on The Joy of Music. Thank you. Let's do it. Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing with Jerome Hines. Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing Hold my heart to oh, sing thy praise. Streams of mercy never ceasing, all the sounds of loudest praise. I am bound for the kingdom, once you come with me to glory. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Oh, you come with me, for I'm bound for the kingdom. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Oh, to grace, how great a letter, daily I've got straight for me. Let thy goodness lie. Abide my wandering heart holy. I am bound for the kingdom won't you come with me to glory. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Oh, won't you come with me for I'm bound for the kingdom. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. you come with me to glory. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Oh, won't you come with me for I'm bound for the kingdom. Hallelujah. 